Hi, my name is John Whitehead. I'm an executive and leadership coach, and welcome to this week's video blog post. So as I mentioned last week, I want to explore the work of Kuzas and Posners and the Leadership Challenge. Their five practices are the, of exemplary leadership in organizations and, or what makes extraordinary things happen in organizations, as they put it, and the behaviors that are attached to those practices. So again, the five practices are modeling the way, inspired a shared vision, challenging the process, enabling others to act, and encouraging the heart. Those are the five behaviors and with it practices. And within those practices, there are 30 behaviors. So if we take a look at the first one, which is modeling the way. For me, modeling the way says that others can see us, can watch us, can observe us. And what they're seeing is what I am also saying as a leader. So there, there, there's no disconnect between what I'm saying and what I'm actually doing. And I'm sure we've all run into managers or supervisors will say one thing and then you see them doing something totally different. And what then what does that message become? So what is that message? So being able to model, uh, there's a lot behind that, right? Because it means that you really have to know who you are as a leader. Uh, you have to know what your values are. It, you have to know where your vision is, where you're taking the organization. Because all those things that you do to get you to that point are things that supposedly you're supposed to believe in. And then others are watching you. So to be, you know, if you walk a certain way, you're hoping other people will walk in that same way. If you use a certain language, you're hoping other people will use that language. Now, going back to one of the fundamentals I talk about as a coach is we can't change other people. As Marshall says, when was the last time you tried to change a significant other partner, your spouse, and how did that turn out? Not very well. People have to want to change themselves. But what we can control is how we behave, how we talk, how we act. And, and people, are, are, you know, people are watching that and observing that. So if we take a look at one of the first practices, uh, one of the first behaviors that, Mar uh, that, that uh, Kuzas and Parsons talks about is setting a personal example of what he or she expects of others. So it's that setting that example so that people are watching you, people are observing you. You know, I'll have a be in a conversation with a client and they'll be making a comment about somebody that they're working with and how that person did X, Y, Z. And I said, well, do you understand what, what just happened there? They basically, you were modeling the way for them because they did exactly what you wanted them to do. They did, they behaved in a, that certain way that you wanted them to do. Think of a very simple example of customer service. I mean, if you're a, a manager of a store, the way they speak to customers, the way they deal with issues, a uh, customer wants to return a product, right? And how that manager handles that customer, the other employees are looking. What are they going to do when they're in that situation? So modeling, demonstrating, is a critical step in the in how you lead. So think about that over the next week. Observe, you know, how am I acting in the workplace? How am I behaving? As if I'm a leader, am I aware of others watching me? Think about that. And again, feel free to add comments and suggestions at the bottom of this uh, blog post. And if you haven't already, Sign up for my blog and I'll send you a free copy of my ebook, What Are These Things Called Soft Skills? Thank you for watching and we'll talk to you again soon.